how can you create an HDRI from any photo? Not a panoramic photo or a photosphere, but just a regular photo. Adobe Substance 3D Stager is able to take a single two-dimensional photo and then synthesize an HDRI and wrap it around as a photosphere. It can also match the camera perspective and add a camera. So how do we make an HDRI with Adobe Substance 3D Stager? Is open Adobe Substance 3D Stager and then click on Environment. Once you've clicked on Environment, you'll see Match Image. Select Match Image and then select the image that you want to use for creating the HDRI. It gives you some options. Generally, you want to set the camera output size to the image aspect ratio. It can also create lights. It will either create three-point lighting or detect the light sources in your photograph. And lastly, you can check match camera perspective. This way, Adobe Substance 3D Stager will match the camera perspective. Click OK. It has done its best job to figure out the camera perspective, and it has also created an HDRI. We can tell by clicking on environment and then scrolling down to the environment light. If I click on the environment light, you can see that this is an HDRI and it has a lot of things that aren't actually present in this image, but it gives a good enough of a sky and kind of a building and streetscape that can use just for the reflections. It will be very noisy and generated and not useful for an actual backdrop, but it'll be plenty good for having bounce light and reflected shadows. Now we need to export this HDRI for use in other software like Blender. To export the generated HDRI from Adobe Substance 3D Stager, go to File, Export, Environment Light. Decide the format that you want to export it, either as a PSD or an EXR. Select the location and then click Export. Now you can use this as an environmental texture in Blender.